So at some point, you will need to have a default response. So suppose that for some reason, the response doesn't exist here. So as I told you earlier, first of all, you need to know that if the response doesn't exist here, the chatbot is going to try to to do its best to get a response from the library itself. So it's not just going to rely on this array. It's going to also try its best to find a, a um, uh, an answer or response to the question or sm or statement that, you, that the user is going to say. But for some reason, there might be no answer for the question that the user is going to send. And at this point, we need to have a default response to send to the user. We cannot just leave the user without a response. So let me add a default response. First of all, you need to note that in order to add a, a in order to add a default response, you need to add it in the logic adapters. So in this logic adapters, instead of instead of saying here, instead of using just a an array, it's an array, but instead of passing an object, instead of passing a string, we need to pass an object. So I'm gonna here say object. I'm gonna say here object. And then here inside this object I'm going to first push this in a new line so that you understand what I'm going to do. We need to have a key and value pairs. So the key for the chatbot, uh, chatbot, uh, chat, uh, chatterbot logic best match is going to be the import path. So this is going to be import, import underscore path. And the value is going to be, the value is going to be the chatterbot logic best match. The second, the second element in this uh, object is going to be the default response. So here I'm going to say default underscore response. And this is how it can be anything. I'm going to say here, for example, sorry, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what that means. So this is the default response. But the problem with this is that we cannot just send this default response uh, at any uh, point. We need to send this response only if, if we really don't have an answer, if we really don't have a response. And to do that, we need to have a criteria to determine whether we have a response or not. And that can be done, this criteria can be set here by using the maximum here, I'm going to say maximum, maximum similarity, maximum similarity threshold. So what is this? The maximum similarity threshold is a number between 0 and 1. So it can be from 0 to 1. And by default, it's 95. So what is this? This is going to, this is going to check whether the response that we have uh, has a similarity of point uh, or 95 percent of the question that the user asked or the statement that the user asked. If it has 95 percent, then we can send that uh, we can send the response that we have. If the similarity is less than 95, then we are going to send the default the default response. So I'm going to decrease this to 90. I'm going to say only 90. And that and what that means is that if the if the similarity if the response that we have has a similarity less than 90%, then we need to send this default response.